As we kept driving east, we made our way to Cleveland, Ohio, which is where I spent the first four years of my life. With all the industry here and private land, we didn't know where we'd stay the night. So we were excited to find Vermilion Valley Vineyards, where the kids could run around and let off some of that travel steam. We spent some time as a family walking around the vineyards. And Dakota even got his camera out with me and we took some pictures. We met up with Joe, the owner of the vineyards. I'm very much a farmer at this point, but I'm a city kid from Sandusky, Ohio. And uh, at 13 years old, I knew I wanted to work with plants. I started in the vineyard pruning, picking as a general day laborer. By 16, I was in the cellar. And uh, by 22, I owned the place. We're 100% a state winery, meaning everything in the tasting room we grow on our site. As you both drive it, your tram and that, again, I think has some natural sweetness to it. So we specialize in old world classic European varieties like Chardonnay, Cabernet, Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir, Riesling. We have over 30 different varieties in the ground. This is our pet nat, it's Petulant Natural. It's um, the oldest way of making champagne. Oh yeah, that's really good. Be able to come in and sit around our vineyards and be able to take a load off from the road has really been a beautiful thing for us. Inspired by the whole winemaking process, Dakota decided to make his own kid wine. Not that one, that one's broken. Actually, I just had an idea. I love seeing him try out different methods and figure out the best way to squish grapes. Did we bring a potato masher? Can he give me like a, something flat? How much juice do you have there? Uh, this right here. I don't know mm. how many ounces that is really. I love the simple joys of childhood. Who wants to try a sample of my kid wine? Why don't you try it first? That's pretty good. Harvest Host has been great for business, but ultimately it's been great for our soul and our psyche. You know, my wife and I, we put in 110, 120 hours a week, and we don't get the opportunity to travel. We don't get the opportunity to see the things that Harvest Host uh, visitors get to see. And so we kind of get to live you know, vicariously. To be able to have beautiful conversations with people has been a, a great thing for us on a personal level. Well, it was good for us too, Joe. Thanks for letting us stay the night, for giving us a quick tour of the facilities, and for opening up your property to all of us Harvest Host members.